molecular geometry of PF5. Every time I'm asked for molecular geometry, I draw myself a Lewis structure. It's just how I am. Unless you've memorized the shapes, you're probably going to have to too, because you need to know how many bonding pairs and lone pairs are on your central atom. Phosphorus itself brings five valence electrons. Fluorine brings seven, but there are five of them, so I have to tack on five sevens here. That gives me 40 electrons total to deal with in the Lewis structure. I like putting my central atom in the center, huh? and then I surround it with my outer atoms. That's five fluorines, one, two, three, four, five. I start off with single bonds between the center atom and all the outer atoms. That uses up two, four, six, eight, ten of the electrons. Now I'm going to complete the octet on the outer atoms until I get to 40 electrons total. This was 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Oh, well that was easy. I got to 40 and it completed the octet on each of the outer atoms exactly. If I had extra electrons left over, like if this was 42 and I only had room for 40 on the fluorines, I'd dump them on the center atom. But I don't, so I won't. This is one center atom surrounded by five atoms, that's AX5, and there are no lone pairs on the center. That makes it E0. That E0 is super optional. Lots of teachers call it AX5. And your job as a student is to memorize that AX5 is called trigonal bipyramidal. It's because you end up with a triangular-based pyramid that goes up and down from the center atom. If I was to draw that for you, I'd draw a nice horizontal line here. I'd show one of the fluorines coming out at you, one of the fluorines going back into the distance. That's the triangular base. Then I have one fluorine going upward, one fluorine going downward. You have some 90 degree angles in there. And around the base here, you have 120 degree angles. Maybe you can see that it's flat with pyramids going up and down from that triangular base. I hope so, because that's the shape. You don't like it, leave. Lastly, what's the hybridization of phosphorus here for five things around the center atom with none of them being lone pairs? It's almost always sp3d1. You don't write the one, it's just sp3d, because you need one, two, three, four, five, equivalent hybridized molecular orbitals to make these five bonds. That's just the way it is. Do -do 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 -do. Things will never be the same in your life now that you've discovered Chemist Nate. Best of luck.